keeping kids occupied all summer long is no easy task, but there are a lot of different options for summer camps right here on the Sun Coast. And here with ideas for all interests and all budgets is Erin Duggan from Visit Sarasota. There's nothing worse than having a child or a grandchild say, I'm bored. Yeah. But that doesn't happen. No to excuses, happen. right? Well, I have two children, and I uh, just had to do what I call the puzzle of summer camps, mm -hmm. where you have to piece together what each kid's doing each week all summer. It, it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. What are you doing now, though? So you have them all occupied. Yes. I, well, I, have, I am booked and ready Good. for the summer. <laughs> so you can do more than one camp. Yes. Yes. So you can choose two or three of these things. All of these camps have weekly options. Oh, so gosh. again, it goes back to the puzzle of summer camps, picking and choosing what you do each week. Let's start with the circus summer camp because I'm on the board of directors. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, if you really think about one of the most unique programs we have here in Sarasota County, we are the home of the circus here. And so to have the Circus Arts Conservatory here and offering weekly camps all throughout the summer is pretty amazing. It is. Six and up. You do things from hula hooping and trapeze. They have a water day each week. And a couple of the programs actually uh, include field trips to the Ringling Museum. So oh. you get to see the Circus Summer Spectacular there and uh, tour the, the and, Circus Museum. And they're Museum. on the ground. So the kids are learning those high wire tricks, but they're learning them on the ground. Good. So they're not in any danger. Well, okay. you know, and one of my son's favorite parts of that is that not only do they have camp counselors that are, of course, trained professionals, but they also include some of the high school students. Mm. And there's nothing cooler to an elementary <laughs> school <laughs> kid than hanging out with a teenager. So it's a great program. And of course, Out of Door has a program going on. Out of Door has two campuses, both in Lakewood Ranch and Siesta Key, and they have not only educational programming, enrichment classes, but they also have sports uh, programming all summer. So uh, some really uh, unique opportunities with Out of Door Academy, which is something that is open to the public during that's the summer. Ask, uh -huh. Anyone can sign oh, up wow. in very affordable summer camps. Oh, that sounds like fun. And this is for all ages, too. All ages. Uh, really kind of elementary school and up. They do have some half-day programming for some young Mm -hmm. kids um, out on the Siesta Key uh, program. They have half days and full days. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing that can be tricky to find is a full day program. Oh, yes. Uh, for the working parents out there, but they also offer uh, full day programming. Moat Aquarium. What about them? Well, Moat Aquarium holds a special place in my heart because I grew up here and I got to experience a Moat summer camp growing up. I look how well cool. you turned out. Yes. <laughs> of course now, kids have to I'm not a biologist or a scientist, so it goes to show that they do offer a little something for everyone. But this really, really is all ages because they offer what they call a mommy and me, but I do know daddies do it too and grandparents. So that's where two to five-year-olds can go for a half-day programming Aww. with an adult, but then they also offer programming for elementary school kids and then the high school age program is the program that I got to participate oh. in where you go to Key West for a week really? um, and scuba and snorkel I mean it was wow. an amazing that, experience. That, sound amazing. Yeah. that sounds amazing. Well in Bradenton there's the South Florida Museum they have a program right? Well the South Florida Museum if you think about it it's so cool because they have the museum the aquarium and the planetarium. Mm -hmm. uh, true, it's, yeah. So you've got three great programs very scientific based there um, they have different themes whether it's space or ice age so there really is a lot of uh, fun and educational programming happening and anything with snooty Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be <laughs> Jungle yeah. Gardens now that's right down the street from me what have they got going on? Well of course as you can probably guess Zoo Camp is what mm -hmm. that program's called. Again, weekly opportunities throughout the summer, but each week has a different theme. And so, of course, one of my children was specifically interested in the snake. That's your little boy. Week. That was not my he little likes boy. Likes the reptiles. But <laughs> likes the reptiles, and so uh, it creeps me out a little bit. But I know that the kids think it's super fun. They put the yeah. python around their neck, <gasps> and <laughs> better there than your house. Absolutely. <laughs> and historic Spanish Point. Historic Spanish Point has some really cool programs, too. In fact, I have to say one of my favorite that I'm a little jealous that I'm too old to participate in is uh, Mrs. Palmer's Enchanted Acres Camp, uh -huh. where they have wand making and tea parties. Aww, um, they also have a survival camp oh, wow. uh, one week where uh, you can learn how to build a shelter and clean water. So uh, really some some really cool yeah. off the... The kids the don't want to go oh, camping so after that. Fun. What a great array. Like yeah. That's an amazing array. All right, no yeah. excuses, kids. No boredom allowed. Yes, oh, check no, out visitsarasota.com for more information